Are you seeing a drop in your website traffic and lowered ad revenues? Because Web Core Vitals and Page Experience reports are now a major ranking factor. I have faced a similar situation and it took me almost weeks to fix all of my web pages and increase their page speed to 95 and above. If you are with me for the next 15 minutes, I'll show you in a step-by-step -step process how you can increase your page speed from anywhere around 30, 40 to 90, 95 and in fact 100 at times. Since I have tested a lot of solutions before zeroing down on the final implementation, so this is going to be super easy for you guys with one click installs for themes and plugins. So without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Choosing a lightweight theme. We have tested Astra, Generate Press, Neve, Divi and StudioPress and found Generate Press to be most optimized for blogs and Astra for business and personal websites. So here we are going to set up and activate the Generate Press theme. I would be searching Generate Press and here as you can see in the theme section Generate Press is already there and the theme is already activated so it, it is showing active on my website if it is not activated on your end you can click over here to install and activate this theme the reason we prefer to choose generate press because it's a very lightweight theme and the number of requests it makes on your web server is pretty minimal step two minimize the number of plugins i'm only using plugins that are extremely essential for my blogs here is a list of plugins that i'm using on my website as you can see, there aren't a ton of plugins and only the essential ones are there added in the website. Less the plugins, less will be the number of scripts that would be loading and thus it would essentially increase your website page speed. Step 3. Compress images. There are many plugins that can help you with image compression but the one which I found to be most effective and easy is Smush It. In order to install Smush It, we can click on add new and from the plugins repository I have to just type here you can see the plugin and you have to click on just install now to install the plugin there is a premium version of the plugin which you can access by clicking on the link below I tend to use the premium version of smush because it has a lot of features so click on the install now and activate your Smush plugin. So once it is activated, we have to click over here and we have to click on Bulk Smush now. What it would do is Bulk Smush detects images that can be optimized and allows you to compress them in bulk. Step number four enable lazy loading of images. In order to enable lazy loading, we have to click over here and we have to check all of this and click on update settings once that is done you can see an option over here which says lazy loading is active step 5 use a cdn for images with smush pro you don't have to find any other technology or cdn service rather in fact you can click on cdn and you can activate the CDN from this particular tab. Right now, all my CDNs are active. That's why it's not showing a prompt. If it is not, it would show a prompt over here where your media can be served from WP MU Dev CDN. Step number six, set up page caching. Now, in order to set up page caching, we would be using a plugin for Hummingbird. So from the plugin section, I'm clicking on plugins. Then I'm typing Hummingbird. So we are going to use this plugin, which is Optimize Speed, Enable Cache, Minify CSS, and Defer. And as you can see over here, the rating is almost 5 for both the plugins. And both of them have more than 1 lakh active installs. This means that a lot of WordPress bloggers and publishers love using these plugins. As you can see over here, the performance score is 99. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on caching to set up the page caching. So as you can see, page caching is currently active. We have to enable this. You can 
choose to clear your cache on interval that again is up to you you have to enable this button you have to also enable this you have to enable this cache on mobile devices and then you have to click on save settings step 7 set up browser caching in order to set up browser caching we would be clicking over here and we have to select the recommended expiry of all these file types to one year so over here you can see the current expiry is one year and you can set up your server type set the expiry time and you can click on clear cache to enable browser caching since I'm using Cloudflare for this domain you can see that this particular plugin is connected with Cloudflare by using the global API key. So once it is done, we have to click on clear cache and it's all good to go. Along with this, you can enable Gravita caching. So you can see it is currently active. Step eight, enable gzip compression. Gzip when enabled at a server level compresses your files. And for this reason, it is very important to enable this. All you need to do is click over here and you need to activate gzip compression from this particular page. As you can see, gzip compression is already running smoothly on my website and the current status active is being shown over here. You can do the same using this plugin. Step 9. Asset optimization. Asset optimization is necessary because what it does in fact is is it minifies your CSS files, JavaScript and jQuery files. That helps in less number of browser requests and saves time. In order to go further with asset optimization, we need to click in this tab. And over here, there would be a prompt which would ask you to optimize your assets. You need to click yes and then automatically asset optimization process would be enabled. You need to ensure that it is in the automatic mode, which is recommended by WP MU Dev. And click on publish changes. So we are minifying the CSS files and the JavaScript codes over here. This is something which is pretty essential when we are looking at a page speed of 90 plus. The last part of optimization which I recommend is prefetching the DNS requests. For this, we need to click on advanced tools and under the general tab, as we scroll down, we will have an option to prefetch the DNS request. Since we use these tools like Google Analytics, YouTube, Google Fonts and APIs and Gravatar generally on our websites, so it is a good idea to prefetch these in advance. This speeds up the web pages by pre-resolving DNS. In essence, it tells the browser it should resolve the DNS of a specific domain prior to it being explicitly called. Very useful if you are using third-party services and scripts. And we have to click save changes over here to prefetch the DNS. Additionally, what we can do is we can clean our database. So over here, as you can see, there are a lot of post revisions and transits which are there in general, which you can clean by using the database cleaner feature over here. Also, if your website has a lot of comments, you can lazy load all your comments. By clicking on this section, enable lazy loading comments, you can choose on scroll or on click. One of the two methods you can choose and you can click on save changes to enable lazy loading of your comments. So these are the top 10 essential things that needs to be done in order to optimize your website for a 90 plus page speed on both mobile and desktop. And this is what exactly I have done to optimize my website page speed. So all you need to do is you need to sign up with WPMU Dev and use their pro plugins. You can get started with the free version of their plugins. And once you see that it has optimized your website page speed. And if you want the optimization to be more better, I would strongly recommend to give their pro version a try. And you are all set to have a 95 plus page speed on your 
desktop and a 90 plus page speed on your mobile devices. If you are using third party JavaScript libraries and codes like AdSense, Analytics, Tag Manager, consider bringing all of your codes just before the closing of the body tag that is close to the footer. Otherwise, your page speed would be reduced significantly. In addition to this, choosing a hosting that is optimized for page speed and performance is very crucial. Hostings greatly influence your server request, initial response time and other attributes that affects page speed and core web vitals directly. If you ask me, HostGator, Cloud Hosting and Cloudways are two of my personal favorite. You can check the description below for their links with an exclusive deal. I would definitely love to connect more with you guys. If you feel the same, make sure you hit the subscribe button and do not forget to click on that bell notification icon so that you can receive all our interesting video updates. Also let me know in the comment section if you happen to find this video useful. Do share it with your friends. That's all for today. See you again in another interesting video. Till then, bye bye.